Welcome back to Diddy Calm Racing, everybody! So, we used Diddy quite a bit in the last episode, where it's time to change characters. Let's see... Hmm... I think I'll go with Bumper. Bumper. Time for Arch to go on another adventure. Oh, that's right! I challenge you to a race. Once you get a certain number of uh, hot air balloons, when you go back to the overworld, Taj will challenge you to a car race. If you can beat him, you get another hot air balloon. So bumper control is pretty much the same as Diddy Calm. Man, Taj, you are so slow. Just follow the flags. Just follow the flags, and you will be triumphant. You'll be triumphant. Oh yes, just follow the flags with the N64 logo on them, and you'll go to the end of the maze and there's no problem. Seriously, I'm a lap ahead of him. That's just pathetic. Alright, well, yeah, that's a really easy race. <laughs> Hello, friend. Well done. Take this as a reward. See you later. And we get another hot air balloon. Sweet. Back to the Dino Domain. So we only have one race left, actually, in Dino Domain. Hot Top Volcano. And it's the first race where we're not in a car. Because, let's be honest, you don't want to drive in a volcano. Hey. Okay, Bumper is not good in a plane. I just realized that. I thought he was really good in a plane. He's not. So yeah, these are the boost panels now for the airplanes. This is the first race you're probably going to have to use power sliding on. Unless you're using a heavy character like Banjo or Crunch, in which case, gee, you better be using power sliding by now. I don't even know how you would beat Agent Lake without it with Crunch. Not a lot of bananas this time, that I'm collecting at least. This music's interesting. My little sister likes it a lot, but I'm not a huge fan. Oh yeah, purple boost! Ho 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 ho! Ow. The lava is not very well done in this game. It basically looks like butter, but besides that, actually maybe it is butter because you can use a hovercraft and like use the hovercraft to go through the lava, which makes no sense. But yeah, the races at the beginning of the game are very easy, and they quickly pick up in difficulty. This badger just won the race. This is for you. Oh boy. <laughs> I get to face the boss as Bumper. This game has great voice talent, <laughs> and it only gets worse. <laughs> so unlike the other races, this one is one lap. <laughs> Get to the top of the mountain before him. <laughs> Luckily you can attack him. Oh boy. I believe this guy's name is Tricky the Triceratops. 
Also, the boss music is amazing in this. Watch out for the boulder! Also, the higher up you get, the sharper the turns you get as well, so just be prepared for that. As it's very easy to fall off when you get close to the top. Oh no! <laughs> no! No! Stupid tricky! Stop luck, kid. Maybe next time. Don't Come patronize me. Bumpers I'd obviously not the best choice for this. I'm gonna be my go-to girl! Seriously, Pipsy's, a, Pipsy's amazing. <laughs> and anybody who says Pipsy's not amazing, like, what are you even talking about? She's a speedy little bugger with amazing turning. And since this race is literally all turns. Let's stick to the inside now. Okay, he went out of his way to crush me. What a jerk. Oh, yes! The boss music is, like, perfect. Also, not a lot of people know this, but there's a shortcut on this course. Through the bushes. Yeah. Very well hidden shortcut. I love shortcuts. Just finding them is amazing. Alright, this top part should be a bit easier with Pipsy. Yeah! And he had... <laughs> he has his own face on top of here. Well done, kid. Now try my new challenge. Collect all of my silver coins from around the dino to me. You must find eight from each level. And win! And then come back to see me. So this is where the game picks up in difficulty. In every world, after beating all the races of MB and the boss... Oh, hang on. I've got something special for you. Try pressing break when skidding. Yeah, that's the superpower slide. And with Pipsy, it's... pretty crazy. But yeah. In every world in the game, after beating all the races and then beating the boss, you have to beat all the races again, but this time there are coins on the level. You have to collect all of them and then win first place. So on some levels, like Ancient Lake, not that hard. But on other levels, like um, later in the game, ooh, it is hard. Ancient Lake. The Ancient Lake Silver Coin Challenge. People who play Donkey Kong 64 probably hate the silver coins. And now, also, the computer players are a lot better for the silver coin challenges. That says fair, isn't it? That's totally fair. That's completely 100% fair. 
So yeah, for this level, they're pretty much all just lying out for you to pick up. Put on the later levels there in very out-of-the-way positions. Also, if you're playing on uh, second story mode, the coins are in much uh, harder locations. Alright, collected them all. Do, 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 do. Also, a little trick is if you pick up a boost or if you go over a boost, release the A button right beforehand and you'll get a much bigger boost. Very simple trick, but it really helps you. It's particularly with the zippers. Alright, so we've got a bit more time for this episode, so what I'm going to do is, you know that locked room in, in there? Well, I'm going to unlock it. So basically what that is, is there's a key in every world, and there's a key hidden on, like, one of the levels. If you collect the key and then leave the level, then it will unlock the door, and you'll get a little bonus game. So the key for this one's on Ancient Lake. Now that we've beaten the level, uh, we can select which vehicle we want to be in. I want to be in the plane. It's easiest to get the key in a plane. The level becomes very different when you're in a plane, but yeah. The key's literally right there on the ramp. And if we return to the lobby... So if we go over here through the door, we can play a nice little bonus game. Fire Mountain. The first player to hatch free eggs will win. So, very vague description. Basically, you're all on airplanes, you all have like a little nest. What you want to do is fly to the middle and pick up an egg. If you run into it, it'll automatically pick it up for you. You can push Z to drop it. You want to drop it on your nest, and you want to make sure it stays on your nest for, like, like 30 seconds or something like that, and it'll hatch. However, the thing is, you can also steal other people's eggs before they hatch. So, something you need to watch out for. All right, Diddy, I can already tell, is going to be a huge pain. Wow, there's still an egg in the middle. Oh, yep, see, somebody stole my egg. And you can see who has eggs on the map. Oh, look, Diddy has an egg. Not for long, though. Diddy's egg will be mine. Darn it. His egg hatched. Oh my gosh, Pipsy doesn't have a mouth. That's weird. Oh no, I dropped my egg on the floor. Oh boy, Banjo has two. And he's... Okay, he's over there. Oh nope, now Diddy has two. Let's fix that. Darn it! They both hatched. Alright. Hey Banjo, I need this. It's a backup egg. Yeah! It's a weird little game, but it's kind of fun. And for that, we actually do not get a hot air balloon. Instead... Cool! You have a piece of the TT amulet. You have to collect three more. Good luck. Uh, I won't tell you what that does yet, but basically you need it in order to get the best ending for the game.
There's a fake ending and a true ending. Alright, now unless I'm mistake... Actually, you know what? I think it's time to end the episode off here. I will like 15 minute episodes for a nice little game like this. Thanks for watching, I'm Color 40, and I hope to see you next time when we finish off the Dino Domain. Have a great day, and God bless.